Welcome back to my channel everybody. Chris Galt here, Healthy Living with Chris Galt, and we are on week 11 of our trip going from Maryland to California, and we're just hitting a bunch of different states, and right now we are in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Tomorrow, a couple days from now, not tomorrow, but a couple days from now, we're going to be watching the Balloon Festival. We have our tickets, and we're excited about that. And we're going to show you uh, close up what the festival looks like. And we're going to show you a bunch of other stuff as we uh, travel the country. Because we are still, uh, we're still out there and traveling, traveling the country. So, uh, let's get started. So we left Durango and we are in New Mexico right now. We're heading to Albuquerque. We just saw this really pretty mountain back there with red and we'll see it again when this uh, other mountain gets out of the way. And uh, some really pretty mountains here. Wow, look at that over there. That looks just like probably what the Painted Desert looked like. Oh uh, yeah, so it looks like the Painted Desert over there. Wow. And uh, it's really pretty out here. So we are about about an hour, a little less than an hour away from Albuquerque, um, but some really great views here. The mountains definitely look a little bit different than some of the ones we've seen when we were in Colorado and Arizona. Really pretty. So we are visiting the Kasha Katui Tent Rocks National Monument. These are rocks that are supposed to look like tents. So we're going to take a quick look at that and see what it's about. And there's also a hike there. So we're going to take a quick hike while we do that. Um, just that there is a long line here, you can see. And we're just waiting our turn. And it's just going to be a little while uh, before it's our turn. But we're, uh, we'll go. Okay, so we're at the trailhead. And we are going to take the Slot Canyon Trail loop. There's two uh, trails here. We're taking the hardest one, obviously, because of Robin. But uh, it should be more fun, and uh, we're going to have a great view at the top. So that's where we're heading. Okay, so we're at the uh, beginning of the trail. And you can see it from the sign. It's about a 1.5 mile uh, one trip. So then it's a round trip. It would be like three miles to go up there. And the elevation looks like it's 300, 630 feet of elevation, which is doable. Uh, Robin, you got anything to say? No, but uh, hopefully we'll show you pictures of us going through the slot canyon. Yeah, I'll show you some highlights. So we headed up the trail. We just started. Here's some of the scenery though. And we're going to show you, show you some of the rock formations that look like teepees in a minute. And uh, we'll show you anything else that looks cool all right, the way. So we made it to the mountains. They're all around us. And now we're going to, I guess, climb up these things. It's going to go up pretty steep in a minute. But this is uh, where we're at.
and now we're going to do another hike because that's what we do. We don't rest, we don't eat, we just keep hiking because of that lady right there who doesn't think that we should eat or rest at all. So anyway, the next hike is what, like in a cave or to something? To a cave, I think. Like to a cave. So we're going to take a quick look at this one. This is a short hike and then hopefully we'll be able to eat something after that. We had our lunch in the car and I saw picnic tables. So when we're done with this, we'll grab our lunch and have a nice picnic. Yeah, that way I've only lost about 10 pounds on this trip. <laughs> I won't lose any more. So this is the cave trail and that's the cave. So people lived in there a while back and that's not used anymore, but it was used probably about what, 800 years ago or so? This trail has a couple of the TP type rock formations too. So we're going to take a look at those guys down there. And you can see more of them over here. Pretty cool looking. That bird right there is a road runner. So I thought I'd show it to you. He's coming on over. We'll see how close he gets. Run, buddy, run. Yeah. So this is a real life roadrunner, not not the cartoon. This is a real one, and he's out here at a, a park in outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, so this is the Rio Grande. I'm a little closer to it, and uh, you know you heard of it. It's a very famous river in uh, New Mexico, and so I just want to show it to you, uh, and. These are our friends, Pam and Larry, from our, our house in, uh, in Maryland, which we sold, but they're, they're our neighbors. So anyway, they're out here with us. We're going to go see the balloons tomorrow, and uh, we're just checking out Albuquerque, right? Right. Yeah. right. All right. right. So here's more of the river. I just thought I'd show you a little more of the river here, the Rio Grande. We got a little closer to it. There's actually a big beach here. So uh, what we're doing is we're just taking a look at the river here. There's some more of the balloons taking off. Some are already up there. All right, so uh, here's a little more of the balloons. These are all on the ground still. They haven't taken off. Uh, I guess they, there's a mass ascension when they come up. But right now, uh, they're not. And these guys over here, you can see in these trucks, they're setting up theirs. These are all the baskets that are in the trucks that you can see. So they're getting theirs ready to go.
this is the town of Madrid. We're just uh, going to get lunch here and check out the little town. It's a little tiny town, but it's uh, kind of neat. It's in New Mexico, and it's on our way to Santa Fe is where we're heading. And we just thought we'd check out Madrid on the way. We are now at Meow Wolf. This is uh, on our way to Santa Fe. Actually, this is uh, right outside of Santa Fe. And this is a crazy museum where it's very interactive, um, very artistic. You can see some of the stuff outside. Um, but then I'm going to show you what's inside. And it's almost like you have to figure out what's going on in this house. So this museum, it looks like a museum there. But when you get inside, yeah, you actually walk into like a house type thing. And it's very crazy. And you check out all, all this different stuff and you try to figure out what's going on. So let's get to it. It's kind of low to the ground, isn't it?
stuck on a different time, that new Larry's theory of uh, video game. Yeah. <laughs> I remember wasting a lot of money on these things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, from the video, you could tell that was pretty wild, so I just wanted to show you that. And uh, we are done with uh, this museum, but I would say, you know, go try it out because it's pretty bizarre. And actually, there's a little bit more to it uh, where you could actually figure out what's going on with the family that got lost in that house. Um, but we just kind of just went around and took a look because we didn't have that much time. Anyway, uh, give it a check. Mexico, but we just watched the Nats win. Beat the Dodgers in a game where I didn't think it was going to happen. So we're pretty happy right now. All right, we are in Moose Ranch. And this is uh, outside of Santa Fe in New Mexico. So we're just going to take a look and see what it's all so about. So we are going to do the Chimney Rock Trail. It goes that way, the little gate here. But we're going to go through the gate. And that's going to be the trail we're going to do today when we're here on the Ghost Ranch. Here's a little bit of the trail. We're, uh, we came from down there. We're going to go up this way. On this hike, we're going up this way. So far, the views are fairly nice. It's a little windy out here today, a little cold, but uh, we're getting through it. You can see the lake out there, too. It's really nice. So this house right here, it looks like a little old cabin that was built years ago, but this house was actually built for a movie called City Slickers. 
So it's really not old, but it actually looks like it's an old house. So I just thought I'd show you that. All right, we're at Earthship Biotexture. And uh, this is where people live in places that are made out of recycled materials. And we're just going to give it a check. It's pretty interesting. You can see one right there. We actually have a tour, so we're going to be going into one of the places. But people actually live there. They live very minimalist lives. This is right outside of uh, Taos and, uh, in New Mexico. So we're going to give it a little check and see, um, see what it's all about. Some interesting structures. And again, all this is made out of recycled materials. This is the visitor center. So this is the greenhouse. They actually grow food here. Living off the grid. So this is one of the units. Okay, we'll begin to cover shoes. That's fine. It's just a pretty red bag. Yeah, you smell all the spices. Yeah. So here's another house we're going to take a look at. And we'll see what this one looks like. So this one goes for $1.5 million. It could feed a family of four on the grid, off the grid. So basically it has its own fish pond and uh, has its own chickens all inside the house and a greenhouse. So over there you could see some chickens over there. So they use the eggs with those, for those chickens. Where? It's an orange tree right there. So they grow all their stuff here. So this is actually inside, which is interesting. All these plants are growing inside, and then you got your college right next to it. So this is a fireplace with a waterfall on it. This is pretty cool. It's a gas fireplace with a waterfall. So this is the utility room, obviously. They got tires for installation. That's their filtration system. Pretty wild stuff. The kitchen table. property um, five years ran out and we are trying to manifest another permit uh, for the sustainable testing site um, the permit ran out so right bridge goes over a gorge 
uh, out here in New Mexico, right next to Taos. And we're going to walk over that bridge and just see uh, how high we are. But it basically goes over, it's, it's basically pretty high off the ground uh, when you start going over the gorge. And you can start seeing that from here. And we'll see what it looks like. This is what it says about the bridge. It's the most beautiful steel bridge. And it was presented in 1966. So here we are, go walking over the bridge. And it's, uh, we're pretty high off the ground. And uh, it's looking good. So uh, anyway, this is the view from the bridge. And so we're we going are back. In the house now. This is just a little bit of the city. And we're just going to look for a place to go eat lunch around here. Hopefully there's some place. All right, we are at Taos Pueblo. We're gonna take a little tour of this place. This is where the Pueblo Indians live today, like they did years ago. Very interesting statues around here. There's a bunch of them. And I'm just going to show you a few. So down again, this is downtown Santa Fe, and uh, it's kind of neat. There's just a bunch of these guys all around. Canyon Road. There's a lot of arts and crafts here. So we're going to check it out. So week 11 is coming to a close. So we are done, but we had a great time. We spent the entire time in New Mexico. We met our uh, neighbors came out uh, from Maryland and we got to see them and that was great. And we, uh, we went to the hot air balloon festival in Albuquerque and that was an amazing footage. You saw that. We went to Mo Meow Wolf, which is a very bizarre but very interesting uh, museum where you're, you're in a house and you're trying to find out what happened to a family and you see a bunch of different rooms and it's very interactive, but it's also you just, just walk around and you go any direction you want. There's no one telling you where to go or what to look at. It's pretty crazy. I would recommend that. We went to Santa Fe. We saw some Indians, how they live in the, the Pueblo uh, um, as they live today. And uh, we, just, we just did a lot of very interesting things. We also got to see the Nats uh, uh, win and beat the Dodgers and move on to um, 
to, to, uh, in the playoffs. And I know some of you might not like that because maybe you're Dodgers fans, but as Nats fans, the way the season started, it was a very uh, exciting time for us. And I guess now what we're doing in week 12, we will be heading back to California. We'll be actually heading to California, which is where our home is going to be when it gets built. Still, still won't be built until the end of November, so we still have some time, but we're going to be, we're going to go over there now. We're going to start to establish ourselves and uh, pick out furniture for the place. And we will, I will also be vlogging that when we're over in, uh, in San Diego and uh, you, you just stay tuned for that. And that'll be a week 12's vlog. So until next week, I'll see you. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button and also please subscribe and click on the notification button to get all this great content that's coming up every week. Thank you.